shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris. Out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And today I'm on my way to have my battery analyzed. I need to get the battery analyzed in my Honda Gold Wing. If you guys have been keeping up with my videos, I posted the video showing that the Honda Gold Wing failed to start. And I got a lot of good feedback. I got a lot of good comments. A lot of you reached out and tried to offer help with my new Gold Wing failing to start. I also charged the battery and I got the Gold Wing started. So if you've been keeping up with my videos, I posted the video that I fixed my Honda Gold Wing. I installed the, the battery uh, quick disconnect that will allow me to charge the battery if the bike is gonna be stored for an extended period of time. Well, the first thing I had to do was charge up the battery enough to get the Gold Wing started. So, but I was reading one of the comments and one of you guys was asking about my battery analyzer because I didn't and I didn't hook it up on my new Gold Wing when I did that video. Well, anyway, I charged the battery and I went to connect my battery analyzer on my new Gold Wing and it immediately said that the battery was bad. That threw me. So I'm thinking the battery is bad. I'm getting proper voltage. As a matter of fact, I was getting a little bit more voltage than the normal. So I'm not sure if that's the reason why it was saying that the battery was bad. But on my battery analyzer, it was saying that the battery is bad. I went to my 2016 Gold Wing. And when I connected my battery analyzer to my 2016, it said the battery was good. So that kind of threw me for a loop because I'm thinking, wait a minute, on the new Gold Wing is saying the battery is bad, even though it's got high voltage or a sufficient amount of voltage. But on the 2016 is saying that the battery is good. So I actually got a second opinion. I took it out to my automobile and it said that the battery on my automobile was good. So now I'm kind of at a crossroads, but I went back to retest or reconnect the analyzer on this new 21 Honda Gold Wing and it said that the battery was bad. So as you guys can see, I'm out here on the Gold Wing now. I know the Gold Wing is charging because when I hooked up my multimeter, it was showing that I was getting proper voltage uh, as it was charging from the alternator. So. For the life of me, I don't know why it's saying that the battery is bad. Now, being that it's a brand new bike, there's a possibility that the battery uh, had been sitting up for a long period of time. And that's not to say that technically the battery don't have a bad sale or if the battery is allowing overcharge. I'm, I'm not really sure, but according to my battery analyzer, it said that the battery is bad. So, I have decided to take a small trip down to the battery analyzer, generally a place where I buy some of my batteries for my cars, even the last battery I bought for my 2016 Gold Wing. I'm going to head on over and see if they can tell me if my battery is good or if my battery is bad. But according to my battery analyzer, it says that my battery is bad. Now, if that is the case, you know, I bought this new Gold Wing. It's got under a thousand miles. I bought an extended warranty. I have a total of eight years unlimited mile warranty on this new Gold Wing. So, you know, that's a blessing. That's a good thing that the Gold Wing is under warranty. So I'm not overly worried about it. But I'm just wondering, does the battery have a dead sale? Is the battery allowing overcharge? Why is my battery analyzer saying that the battery on my new Gold Wing is bad? 
but on my 2016 it's saying that the battery is good and also on my automobile it's saying that the battery is good so i am headed over to the battery analyzer and i'm gonna let them connect to my battery and i'm gonna let them tell me if the battery is good or if the battery is bad so i'm just out here on the gold wing today i'm talking to you via my center 50 but i'm here to tell you that i've always embraced honda this is actually my third gold wing that i purchased in the last seven years so i appreciate you guys but i'm on my way out to have the battery analyzed i want to find out if the battery is good or if the battery is bad but according to my analyzer it's saying that the battery is bad so i hope i didn't speak too soon i hope i didn't uh miscalculate and that's possible sometimes when you're when you're analyzing when you're diagnosing sometimes you can miscalculate uh, sometimes man-made things fail just like the battery can be bad just like my analyzer can be bad so sometimes things happen so I'm just trying to get to the root of the problem. Uh, I could always take the bike in to the dealership under warranty and have it uh, uh, have it looked at. And if it comes to it, I will do that. You know, if it's something that I can't handle, then I'll take it in to the dealership. But the good thing about it, the bike is under warranty. So if you guys out there are looking for a good new Gold Wing, contact my man Mitch out there at Southern Honda Power Sports. Southern Honda Power Sports. Tell them Caliente sent you. But it's feeling good. I'm feeling good to be out here on the Gold Wing today. Just trying to get down to the root of the problem with my battery. You know, I may decide to strike out and do a long distance trip once I get this bike uh, set up. And I don't need any battery issues. And that's one thing about a battery. If there is a problem, it will, at some point, it's going to let you know. So there's a possibility that I could have a dead cell. Or it's just a possibility that the, the battery could be overcharging or there's a possibility that my analyzer could be bad so i'm headed over here i'm gonna be pulling up here in just a moment so i'll keep you guys posted and let you know what they say about my new battery it just said battery bad automatically before i even it won't even let me do a a, a test on it because it says battery bad. You said 433, 433 what cranking amps? How you cranking amps battery? Like I said, you the oh. I wonder why my analyzer is saying bad. It's not it's showing bad on that on that battery. But it's showing good on my other bike. It's showing good on my car. It's showing good on on my other motorcycle. But when I hook it on here, it instantly just start beeping and saying bad. Instantly. So he's um, saying that the battery test is good. So it's just really weird, you know. I don't know. Maybe my analyzer is just, you know, going going bad, or maybe it's not in good condition. I probably just go and get one more opinion, just to make sure. You know, he was throwing a bunch of numbers at me. Seventy. I guess he was measuring the temperature of the battery and and things like that. But that's just that's just really weird, man. Uh, my the battery charger itself says that the battery was normal it's saying that the battery was fully charged that was on the battery charger but when i put it on the battery analyzer the analyzer said that the battery was bad when i put the analyzer on the 2016 honda goldwing it said that the battery was good so i'm still trying to figure that out trying to figure out is the battery good or is the battery bad? I think I'm going to go and do, you know, have one more test. Just get a, get another opinion. Uh, I personally think that the battery is good, but according to the analyzer, it's saying the battery is bad. One other thing I would like to mention to you guys, you know, I did talk about that this new Gullwing 
even though it's technologically advanced, it doesn't have a check. It doesn't have a battery gauge. It doesn't have a battery light. It doesn't give you any indication if your alternator is charging. What do you guys think of a new 21 Gold Wing? And it doesn't even have a battery light on it. Now, I don't know if any of you guys ever paid that any attention or if any of you ever ran into a battery problem with your Gold Wing. But to my knowledge, there is no battery light. There is no battery gauge. There is no there's no indicator to let you know that your 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 alternator is charged. You know, I had I was reading one comment. One guy called it an idiot light. And uh, I've heard people say things like that. I don't like to call lights idiot lights, but I guess you can call it what you like. But it should be some type of indicator on a bike this new to let you know the status of your battery. Now, yes, I could go to electrical connection and I can purchase a battery, uh, a battery reader. I can connect it to the bike. Um, and that's probably where I end up buying it. I do have one at the house in my garage. I do have one at the garage that I can attach to the bike. But I shouldn't have to attach that to a brand new bike. That should already be standard. That's my point. On a brand new 2021 Goldwing, even with Apple CarPlay and the DCT engine and the Bluetooth and the heel assist and all of the updated technology that's on this bike, why is there not a simple battery gauge to let you know that your battery is charging. <clears throat> Why is there not a battery light to let you know that your battery is down? You know, for the life of me, I just can't figure out, you know, some things that should be standard on a motorcycle, especially in this day and time. Now, if the motorcycle was made back in 1980, I can understand it not having a battery gauge. Now, I could understand it having a battery light because the battery light has been around for years and years but I don't understand why there is not a battery gauge on this brand new 21 Honda Goldwing so again I know I can buy an aftermarket battery gauge again I know I can connect a battery light to let me know the status of the battery but at this day and age at this day and time 2021 Honda Goldwing. I don't know why I should have to buy a battery gauge or install a battery light. It's, it really should be standard on a bike this expensive. I just don't get it. So my question to you guys is, have you had any issues with your battery or your new bike when you purchased your new bike? Did you have any issues with the battery running down? Have you had any issues with a battery analyzer? One battery analyzer saying that the battery is good. The next analyzer saying that the battery is bad. I'm wondering, have you guys ever ran into anything like that before? Usually, in my case, it's generally one or the other. So I'm getting kind of mixed indications. I'm getting mixed signals. One says good, one says bad. But eventually time will tell you what you have. Eventually your bike will let you know if your battery is good. And it will probably let you know if your battery is bad at the worst time. Probably when you least expect it. Probably when you're not paying attention. There's a strong possibility that the battery will let you know when you least expect it if it is bad. And that's what I'm trying to prevent. I'm trying to be proactive not react you want to stay ahead of the curve i like for my bike to be ready to go anytime that i want to hop on my bike i want it to be ready to go i don't want to get out several hundred miles and my bike won't start now that's a possibility with anything man-made anything man-made is subject to fail but if i can prevent it i can prevent it like 250 cranking amps. Yes, sir. Honda likes that. And this would be the Wyusa GYZ20L.
Still showing A OK? It's got 13.25 volts. And it's showing it's 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 still great. It's still still showing really good power because even at you know I, I started it at for you at the 250. Right. It's gonna read that max and it's gonna show what it can start at. Okay. Which is 46. Okay. So you're 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 still copacetic. You're good. Okay. So All right. I'm I'm glad we could actually get that figured out a little better for you okay so all yeah, right you're, you're, you're still good okay i appreciate it yes sir all right thank you Not man thanks all right okay i made it back to the caliente garage and i'm gonna do one last test on my digital battery tester i don't know if this battery tester is faulty you know it probably was made overseas probably made in china who knows but i'm gonna connect it again and see if I'm still gonna get the bad battery uh, I'm gonna connect it again and see if I'm still getting that bad battery indication on the light so that's really weird it's showing bad but I'm getting 13.4 volts so it won't even let me do a test start if I try to do a test start it just the good light comes on so that's really weird this thing is probably faulty I have another one um, that I've had many years I'm gonna check it out this is my old faithful I've had this thing probably I probably had this thing at least 30 years I mean it's been forever so I'm going to try this one. I hadn't hooked this thing up in years. This was made by Chicago Electric Power Tools. It's a 100 amp load battery and charging system tester. The test capacity is between 50 and 1,000 cold cranking amps. Uh, it's for 6 or 12 volt systems only. So I'm going to connect this up. I hadn't connected this thing in years. See if I can get this one started. And I'm just wondering what is this going to say on my old manual Chicago electric battery tester. So as you can see, it's showing between 12 and 14 volts. Matter of fact, 13, a little bit past 13. Now down here it says test procedure connect the clamps to the battery terminals press load switch after 10 seconds read the meter with the load on so I'm going to press the load button and with the load button it's showing about 11 volts so it's not even showing bad on the um, on the readout well, anyway, if you guys like this video, click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris, and it appears that my battery is fine. Everything is normal, and I will talk to you guys later. See you.